Well, that was a fun game to watch to begin the playoffs. It just wasn't a fun result for the Tampa Bay Lightning losing to the Florida Panthers 3-2 to two in Sunrise. What's most interesting about that contest when watching it was that the Florida Panthers kind of outlightened the Lightning. We're so used to these tight, checking games where the Lightning are just going to wait you out give up maybe a goal or two, and then win by a narrow margin. You know, John Cooper, I'm sure, before the game started, if, if I told him, hey, you're only going to give up one five-on-five -five goal, he would have taken that. Just not enough offense. Uh, and certainly the start really dug them a hole. Not only did they fall down one nothing, but John Cooper mentions against a team like Florida, you cannot – take a 60-minute game and make it a 45-minute game. It took them nearly 16 minutes to get a shot on net. Uh, Brandon Hagel scored the first goal for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Steven Stamkos scored the final goal for the Tampa Bay Lightning within the last 10 seconds of the contest, by, but by that point, it was 3-1. to one. So when looking forward into Game 2, which will happen Tuesday night in Sunrise, what do the Lightning have to do? A, they got to come out with a little bit more fire, certainly a, a quicker start. But B, they got to find ways to generate more offense. 19 shots ain't going to cut it. Only 11 high danger opportunities. Now, Andre Vasilevsky, he was pretty good in this game. The Lightning stayed composed. They stayed structured. They didn't make too many mistakes. But in a game against Florida, a team that likes to also play that way and a team that's deeper uh, you got to find ways to be a little bit more aggressive and push the envelope while not compromising your back end because Florida, for the most part, they wanted to dump that puck in, play the four check, and wait for them, the Lightning that is, on the breakouts to make mistakes. And for the most part, the Lightning did not do that. So I think if the Lightning play the same way they did in game one moving forward, they're in an okay spot. But we have to see something generated on the five-on-five, five, and we have to see Nikita Kucherov be some semblance of a force. I mean, this guy could win the MVP this year, and they completely removed him from the equation. Only one shot on net. The passes were not as crisp as we're used to seeing from Kuch. He did tally an assist there in the final 10 seconds to Stamkos. But uh, really, if the Lightning are going to go anywhere, they need that top line, certainly Kucherov, Braden Point, guys who have been doing it forever for this franchise in the postseason to get it going because they're not going to win this series if they throw out an assist here or there and, and they're taken out of the equation. So uh, we'll see what happens. The Bolts are 12-9 and nine when losing game one, so certainly do not count this group out. They've been in this position before. If you remember last year, the Lightning whomped right through Toronto in game one, and then they ended up losing the series in six games. So... The key is you got to get the split on the road. You have to win one there. And uh, if they're able to win in game two, that would be great momentum heading back inside Amelie Arena on Thursday. And remember, the Bolts actually have not won a home game in the last five tries in the playoffs. But we'll worry about that when we get to there right now, 730, Tuesday night in Sunrise. The Lightning need to even up this series.